Glad you came. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lodgog? I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganweld potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. <laughs> Hogsmeade, here I come. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Revelio.
Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Wonder who lives here. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Hope they know what they're doing. An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Now, 
Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badov? What do you know of my brother? He's joined the Ashwinders and has no interest in returning. But what? No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, bad off. Bad off. My dear, dear brother. Sarah Canard, a pickle, a galley.